I think little things. Um, I don't think we started the second half well enough. Um, you know, we some turnovers and then a um, couple breakdowns defensively, and they ran some good stuff. And you know, Alum was a heck of a player, and you know, we just um, struggled to make some outside shots. You know, so I, I just little things here and there. And again, when you're in this setting in this kind of game, it is you know, can you at least get a shot up and maybe draw a foul or get on the glass? Um, but some empty possessions, whether we rushed or tried to either get it back too quick. And then again, they um, they hit some, you know, it comes down to making plays. We fought back and I think tied it with about six or seven minutes left. And, you know, and then it comes down to that. We always talk about that, uh, whatever kind of play needs to be made defensively, offensively. And, and they did that tonight. Next point, Greg. Tony, Kige had a, a really shaky offensive game. What did you see? What did either they do to disrupt him? Or? Yeah, um, you know, he's, he's been playing well and he just, um, yeah, just, you know, again, our, we're trying to be as efficient as we can. And again, we didn't make a three. And again, some of a couple of uh, uncharacteristic turnovers um, or, you know, I kind of told him about it one time when he took a shot and got it blocked. But we need him to look to score. But, you know, with all the guys, it's it's finding that sweet spot in this kind of game because it was a physical game. And Virginia Tech did a good job defensively, you know, jamming the lane, um, playing good physical defense. We were trying to do the same. And so, you know, the possessions mattered. You know, you had to get a shot up every time. And so when you had an empty possession or a, or a poor attempt, um, that, was, that hurt us. So, again, just finding the way to run your offense to score but having a level of soundness. And I go ahead, you say, well, you only had 10 turnovers, but uh, I think the way we started the second half, that, that hurt us a little bit. So, again, he just, um, again they, they played good defense on him. And, you know, for him, he, um, that wasn't one of his better games, and you know he'll bounce back and hopefully be ready for our next one. Greg over here, then Preston. Did they do anything different on Caden second half? Just Caden first half. Yeah, I mean they got pretty good. They got physical in terms of how they guarded him. He just um, he missed some shots. I mean I think they guarded him a little harder when a guy is going. They're just going to be more mindful of him and jammed him a little more. Um, and then again, he got a little rushed at times and had some of those turnovers where some of those empty possessions were. And so um, I just think, you know, again, they made him earn a little more. They're a little more contested and a little more physical. Okay. Preston in the back. Yeah, Tony, just going with postseason wise, resume wise, Caden said that you know, told him just, you got to lace him up next game. Kind of what's your message going forward? Yeah, no, I mean, the guys have fought hard to be in this spot to play games that. You know are important and matter and um, you just keep plugging and again you look we always talk about chase and quality and there was some quality play in this but there were some things we'll be able to point to and say all right we got we got some good opportunities in front of us but um, you can't worry about anything we've had a nice stretch here I think we won four in a row some good games came here took one now we got to get ourselves ready to go to who Miami. next to Miami Saturday Doug then Jeff what did you feel at halftime yeah, I mean, I, I thought, Doug, we, um, it, you know, they missed some shots. They did, I thought, you know, but I thought we were battling and playing tough, took pretty good care of the ball. Jaden was scoring, um, and you just knew it was going to be a physical, tough game that was going to come down to possessions. I know the score doesn't look like it um, with that, uh, but it was, it was hard fought to the end, and it was going to come down to, again, who could take care of the ball be sound with it and make the other team just score. And they got a couple easy ones. I thought they got some easier looks off of Aluma's plays, made some plays, and we couldn't quite. Got a couple nice, you know, Reese's dunk was impressive, and obviously Caden's alley-oop, those were some impressive plays. But um, you look at the turnovers we had in the second half and then, you know, some of their stuff, and um, they just couldn't quite stay attached. You know, we got to. Yeah. from start to finish. I guess that's happened. Um, geez, I don't know. I, yeah, I, they kept chanting air ball. And, you know. Oh, yeah. I mean, don't shoot an air ball then. I guess if you don't want them to chant that, that's that's the moral of the story, right? <laughs> so, I, yeah. I mean, they might might. Have, I'm sure you know. The crowd. It's college basketball. I mean, the difference between last year being here and this year, and you know, obviously we were at Duke and our games at home. It's just, um, it's it's so much different and better. And they had a great home court advantage tonight. Jeff and Mike. Yeah, just a follow up. Jaden and Reese both talked about the energy that Tech played with and the energy in the building from the crowd. Do you think your guys needed to do more to match that? Do you think 
I think we played pretty hard. I think it was, you know, I, I, I may watch the film and say, oh, but I think it just, yeah, no, they, they played. It was a hard playing game, but, you know, if there was, they took advantage of if we, you know, got a little separation on the screen and then they bang a three and, uh, again, made some plays and we couldn't answer. You know, other games we've answered when that's, that's happened. And, again, certainly the crowd had them aroused and, and playing hard on both ends. And um, I, I thought our effort was there. I thought we scrambled pretty well. Um, but, you know, a couple plays here and there, and it comes down to that. Tony, I know it's hard that you just finished this one, but thinking back to Miami, what were some of the keys? What did you do well? And, um, you had not, yeah. You know, what, what would you like to replicate? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I just you're going to have to. I mean, they're so gifted with their guards, making plays and creating. Got to do the job defensively, and then um, I think we ran pretty good offense in that game. Um, but yeah, it's kind of have to go back and think about it. Okay. Greg, so the whole three attempts at twenty percent was great. Uh, were you happy with the bad, the bad effort? Twenty-five percent. Yeah, they held us to zero percent. So <laughs> they won by twenty percent. <laughs> so no, they're obviously leading the country, leading the league. It's second or third in the country, and you know that's what makes them tough because they can and they hit some timely ones. Um, with their ability to shoot, but yet they have a Luma who can kind of slash play outside and get inside or they can find him inside and that puts a lot of pressure on you and they run good stuff with handoffs and they're playing and um that that's a you know you look at that stat line of his in 10 of 14 that's really efficient i don't know what Jaden was in the first half um he was you know clipping pretty good there but um so for the most part we did they hit a couple of them but um scoring wise we held them i think enough to have a chance to win, but, you know, again, we weren't quite right that way. Okay. Luck leads in yep. How He is, yeah, he did, and, and I think, you know, Coach Young uses him with some of that, you know, he'll catch it and make some plays off of it, and he finds, and Aluma's really good. They, they have a nice connection, and he's got some guys who, when he kicks it out, they're making forty some percent of those threes. So, but no, that's um, you know that position, um, that that mobile four who can you know does some good stuff on the glass defensively. But some of those his ability to slash and create some plays uh, is really important. And he's he's helped them. And again, I, I said that at the beginning. I think Virginia Tech is one of the better teams in our league. You know they hit some bumps in the road early, and obviously now they've won uh, six in a row and certainly capable. Um, and again, they have a nice. They have a nice balance with their one through five. You think the rivalry's in a good spot? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think the crowd was pretty alive. I think it's hard fought games. You know, two teams that were playing good basketball, and I respect their program. Um, certainly want to beat them. Every game's important, but um, you'd have to be the judge of that. I, I think so.